In this video, I'm going to briefly introduce you to the system plugins available for OJS. System plugins are contributed modules that can expand the functionality of OJS without interfering with the main code base. Some of the system plugins have been created by members of our own technical team, but others have been contributed by the community. And if there's a function that you'd like to see added to OJS, developing a system plugin would be just the way to do it. But let's take a look at those right now. From the user homepage, let's select our role as journal manager. And from the menu, select system plugins. As you can see here, there are many categories of plugins. And for a more detailed description, you'll want to refer to the OJS user guide. For this video, we're just going to briefly look at some of the generic plugins. As you can see from this list, there are many of them enabling counter statistic reporting, external feeds, the Tiny MCE plugin, Coins plugin, and others. Some of the plugins can influence the user interface, such as the Search Engine Highlighting plugin or the Rounded Corners plugin. Others will allow your OJS installation to interact with other software modules, such as the PHP MyVisites plugin or the Google Analytics plugin. In the next few videos, I'll be taking a look at a few of these plugins in more detail, including the Google Analytics plugin, the Custom Block Manager, and the Static Pages plugin. And once you've become familiar with a few of the plugins, you can read about more of the others in our documentation. And if you or someone on your journal's team is a software programmer, plugins are a great way to expand the functionality of OJS and also a great way to contribute back to the wider community.